Well, not even 24 hours after the deadly school shooting in Florida, panic erupted at Carmel High School. And the principal says there's no safety threat, but many parents say their kids won't be going to school today. That's right. So that's why our Alyssa Raymond is live outside Carmel High School for us this morning with more on what exactly happened here and how these students reacted. Hey, Alyssa. Ben Julia, good morning. It is calm and quiet here at Carmel High School at 4.35 this morning. But what will we see later on today? Will there be more police officers here? Extra security checks? Just how many students will choose not to come to school today? As of this morning, more than 3,500 people signed an online petition to get school canceled at CA CHS today. It went on to say, quote, there is an impending threat at Carmel High School of a school shooting on Friday. Getting this petition enough signatures could save lives. But in a video message, CHS principal tried to reassure students and their families that there is no safety threat. One student we spoke to says it's chaos here every single day. I'm super freaked out, honestly. Like, all the stuff we saw, like, magazines, like, videos of kids with hundreds of rounds, like, that's, like, really intimidating stuff. Like, I don't know, it just makes coming to school, like, a lot less, like, enjoyable. I can't focus on learning. Several tense moments took place during the school day on Thursday. Students with cell phone cameras caught the chaos. In the cafeteria, someone yelled, it's happening, after staff restrained a student with special needs who allegedly attacked a school employee. That caused hundreds of kids to just run right out of that cafeteria. And then on top of that, a student was also found with a knife on campus on Thursday and was taken into custody. Coming up at 5 o'clock, we're going to hear more from the principal as well as the statement that he sent out to parents and staff. And it literally lists every single incident and rumor, as they've been calling everything, and details how it was handled as well as the why there is no threat. Ben? Everything has just been so heightened, of course, with what happened down in Florida. You can certainly understand why the students are concerned, to say the least. We'll continue to check back and keep following it. Alyssa, thanks.